What's up, Techno fam? Chana Dio Techno Dad here, and I got a quick, quick video for you today about the Pioneer VSX LX505. And before I begin, a big shout out to my patrons on Patreon. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to save up and purchase this AVR as I've been wanting to get one of the new, either the Onkyos or Pioneers in for review because they have Dirac Live and 4K 120 support, which is what we're going to check out today. Does it have 4K 120 support with VRR and Dolby Vision? You know, from an Xbox Series X, that is what we are going to find out. So let's first jump into the Pioneer LX505 menu so I can show you where you guys go to set that up. All right, first you need to hit the home button on the remote. Then go to system setup, input slash output assign, TV out slash OSD, and finally, HDMI 4K 8K signal format. Now here we can set up the signal format per input. For reference, here's a shot from the Pioneer manual which tells you what each HDMI input can handle bandwidth wise. As you can see, the first three HDMI inputs support 40 gigabits per second. Now on the back of the unit, that'll be the BD slash DVD port, the game port, and the cable SAT port. HDMI 4, 5, and 6 support 24 gigabits per second, and the front HDMI port supports 9 gigabits per second. And at the bottom of this, you guys can see exactly what is the max resolution and frame rate each of these ports can support. So if you wanna pause the video here, you can kind of plan out which ports you wanna use for which devices. I have the Xbox Series X connected to HDMI 2, the designated game HDMI input. So in the Pioneer menu, I'm going to change game to 8K enhanced. If I wanted to run my PS5 through this AVR alongside the Xbox Series X, then I would connect it to either the BD DVD and set that to 8K enhanced or the cable SAT and set that to 8K enhanced. I would leave the other sources like a Roku Ultra or Apple TV 4K to 4K enhanced and have those either as the cable SAT or the streaming box or HDMI 5. I'm gonna leave everything else as 4K enhanced or 4K standard for devices like my cable box because the cable box doesn't really need to be in 4K since it's 1080i anyway. All right, so once I made the change to 8K enhanced in the Pioneer menu, I jumped into some Call of Duty, which I know will support 4K 120 Hertz with VRR and Dolby Vision when connected directly to my LG C1. Unfortunately, what I got was this big pink mess and it was really disappointing and I was kind of like, well, this is just lame. What am I gonna do now? And then, aha, the light bulb goes off in my head. I forgot to update the AVR. Let's go look for an update. So I went back into the menu and looked around for update and firmware version, found it, and looks like there was an update, so I updated it. After the update, went back in, and lo and behold, we get 4K, 120 Hertz, VRR with Dolby Vision, and the gaming optimizer does pop up and that does work. I remember with the Denon, I got the little SPK618, the little box thing. And through that, the gaming optimizer wouldn't pop up. So not sure what's up with that, but at least with the Pioneer, it's working. And I played for about three to four hours and I was good to go. It was playing, no problem, no issues. So if this is one of the things you're looking for, the Pioneer LX505 definitely does this and it does work. Oddly enough, I was speaking with Cecil. He has a YouTube channel, it's called Keep It Classy Tech. Definitely check it out if you're looking for TVs. He's like now an ISF certified calibrator. So a lot of great information on his channel. Anyway, I was talking to him and he has the Onkyo RZ50 and Onkyo and Pioneer are, you know, same company owns it. So he was getting a bunch of black screens and some like basically video dropouts when running 4K 120 from the Series X. So he was wondering if I was getting that with the Pioneer and I did not experience that at all. So we don't know if that's just an isolated incident with his specific RZ50 or it's just something with the Onkyos. Bottom line is I would imagine it's the same HDMI board all the way across for Integra, Onkyo, and Pioneer since they're all owned by the same company. But again, I'm not having those problems with the LX505 from Pioneer. So I'm gonna say it works. I'm enjoying the fact that I don't have to use eARC from the TV 
to the AVR. However, I do have a setup video about that with the LG and the Pioneer uh, coming out soon. And of course, the two, um, you know, fatal flaws of the Pioneer LX505. I'll get into that in another video as well. But as far as this is concerned for 4K, 120 hertz gaming with Dolby Vision. And I know, I know there's nothing with native Dolby Vision now, but that should be coming out later this year. Anyway, you'll be ready with the VSX LX505. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.